Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 460. If you're writing a book or thinking about it or trying to finish a book you've started or trying to let more people know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. Inc. like that stuff we write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn someone who barely considers themselves as a writer, (laughs) turn them right into a published author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Here's today's quote. And what, you ask, does writing teach us? First and foremost, it reminds us that we are alive, and that is gift and a privilege not a right. We must earn life once it has been awarded us. Life asks for rewards back because it has favored us with animation. So while our art cannot, as we wish it could, save us from wars, privation, envy, greed, old age, or death, it can revitalize us amidst it all. Ray Bradbury. Well, once again, good morning, happy Tuesday, and today I want to share with you some reasons why, as Mr. Bradbury was just kind of saying there, why being an author, I think, is the best full-time job ever. And to be clear, I'm not talking about just people who get paid to be authors full-time. No, I am saying that if you are an author in any capacity, even if you have only recently decided to become one, here are ways that it is actually, believe it or not, whether you know it or not, your full-time job, that the author hat never comes off, even when we're sleeping. I mean, think about all the dreams that inspire us and why this is such an awesome opportunity that most people will never get to experience. So we're quite lucky. I've come up with four different reasons today. Number one, and this one is always my favorite one. Those of you who listen to the show have heard me talk about it, but it's just so awesome. Number one, we get to be professional observers. When we eavesdrop and people watch, we get to do it from the standpoint of character development or plot line, trying to figure out what people really mean, what their backstories are, and using their conversations as launch points for entirely new stories in our heads. Number two, watching movies and TV shows is an opportunity to ask why about everything. The creative choices of the writers and the filmmakers, why we have specific emotional reactions to various characters or plot points. The list of things to ask why about is endless when you watch storytelling in action. So I love learning from movies and TV shows. As authors, the learning never stops. Number three, we are unfamiliar with the word bored. I don't know what that word means. I don't know that I've ever said I'm bored. Um, Using any downtime we use any downtime as exciting pockets of found time to or that we use towards, you know, reading and writing. Time is like this exciting game. Who knows how much you'll find of it to apply towards creative pursuits, especially when you can find time you didn't know you had and put it toward your job as an author. And finally, number four, especially number four is especially true this year, where others judge and argue and they lack empathy and miscommunicate. We observe, we look more closely, we attempt to understand the situation behind the situation. We try to walk in the shoes of others and pose questions to ourselves and others to better understand what is happening, hopefully encouraging the people around us to do the same. I would love to know what your favorite part of being a professional full-time author is, since I've just anointed you all professional full-time authors. (laughs) I would love to know what your favorite part is. Is it one of these four things? Is it something else? Please drop by my Inc. Authors group, I-N-K, on Facebook and let us know. What is your favorite part of wearing that author hat pretty much every day of your life? Inc. Authors on Facebook. And please be sure and tune in tomorrow. We have a special interview episode here tomorrow where I'm interviewing Lauren Herring, the CEO of Impact Group. 
And she has written a book that identifies the 10 key emotions that you need to, ma- to, to, you, you need to master to land the job. So 10 key emotions that all you job seekers out there, I think there's probably more this year than, than in the past, unfortunately. But the good part is she has identified the 10 key emotions that job seekers need in order to land the job. So be sure and tune in here to the show tomorrow, Wednesday, July 15th, so you can hear Lauren's words of wisdom. Thank you for joining me here on your daily writing habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. Until tomorrow, happy writing.